get right to it right now. It's your voice, your vote, which is 25 days to go. And ABC John Carl has all the highlights from Danville, Kentucky. And John, boy, no throat clearing last night. These guys were going at it right from the start. They sure were, George. This was a clash of ideas, a clash of styles, and I would say the liveliest vice presidential debate we have ever seen. Before. It's been done a couple this of one times. got Again, personal. Jack Kennedy before. lowered tax rates, increased growth. Ronald oh, Reagan. now you're Jack Kennedy. Barb after barb. So, I know you're under a lot of duress to make up for lost <laughs> ground, but I think people will be better served if we don't keep interrupting each other. Well, let me don't just, take let me all the four this. minutes then. Biden was often dominant, maybe a little too dominant. Republicans claimed he interrupted Ryan 82 times, often breaking out in laughter, even when Ryan was talking about Iranian nukes. And all I have to point to. Biden was even all smiles when he accused Ryan of basically not telling the truth. This is a bunch of stuff. Look, here's the deal. What does that mean, a bunch of stuff? Well, it means it's simply inaccurate. It's Irish. <laughs> it's Irish. It is. <laughs> we Irish call it malarkey. Thanks for the translation. No. They disagreed on virtually everything, from Syria to Medicare. Now they got a new plan. Trust me, it's not going to cost you any more. Folks, follow your instincts on this one. They got caught with their hands in the cookie jar turning Medicare into a piggy bank for Obamacare. ABC's Martha Raddatz pressed both of them, challenging Biden to explain the White House's shifting stories on the attack that killed the U.S. ambassador to Libya. When people in the consulate first saw armed men attacking with guns, there were no protesters. Because Why did exactly that go on for weeks? Because that's exactly what we were told by, by the who? intelligence community. It's indicative of a broader problem. And that is what we are watching on our TV screens is the unraveling of the Obama foreign policy. Score one for Ryan there. But when Ryan slammed the administration's $800 billion stimulus bill, Biden was ready with this. He sent me two letters saying, by the way, can you send me some stimulus money for companies here in the state of Wisconsin? We sent millions of dollars. You know why he said You did he ask for stimulus money, Sure he correct? did. By the way, On he, two he occasions, we, adv we, we advocated for constituents who are applying for grants. <laughs> That's what we do. We do that uh, for all constituents who are applying well, I love for that. I love that. This uh, is such a bad program. And he writes me a letter saying, writes the Department of Energy a letter saying, the reason we need this stimulus, it will create growth and jobs. He, his words. Unlike the president, Biden slammed Ryan over Romney's infamous comments about the 47 percent of Americans who don't pay income taxes. Ryan turned it back on Biden. I think the vice president very well knows that sometimes the words don't come out of your mouth the right way. <laughs> Now, there will, be, there will be a lot of discussion over who was stronger last night, Biden or Ryan, but I've got to tell you, around here, there was one clear consensus winner, and that was the moderator, Martha Raddatz, who taught the world what we all know around here, Georgia. You don't mess with Martha. That is for sure. It was a lively time. <laughs> it was. Martha, congratulations.